Everybody and welcome to another episode of Game Plan Review. And I know that I look a little blue because that's of course how it looks in here. I want to apologize for the last episode that I did because I really shouldn't have done that particular game for the, the that particular episode, I should say. Because the thing about it is, I actually screwed up that is right I actually screwed up I shouldn't have played that game first over the game that I'm gonna to play today because the thing about it is if I would have played this game instead of the game that I ended up playing in the last episode I probably would have had a different opinion about the last game that I reviewed but Oh well. I'm doing it for this game plan review instead of the game plan review that I did in the last episode. Because I am doing The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass and I assume that it's going to have the same thing as Spirit Tracks, which was of course the last game that I played where you're using the stylus for your sword and whatever not. So, as a result, well, I'm, I'm eventually going to find out, but if that's the case, I'm going to be telling that in my final review of this particular game that I really shouldn't have given it a little bit of, uh, of the, that uniqueness, because the thing about it is Phantom Hourglass did it first. I, I assume that Phantom Hourglass did it first. The only way I'm going to find out is if I actually play this and review it for you guys. But, is this a good Legend of Zelda game? Is it an excellent Legend of Zelda game? Let's find out! Alright, folks. Now I'm going to set it to Phantom Hourglass. Now, you'll be able to see it on the screen, Phantom Hourglass, that's what I'm doing. And here we go. Now, like I said, I, I apologize for not doing this game first. I should have did this game over Spirit Tracks in the last game plan review that I did. Of course, I have Aroma, by the way. And so that way I can do future game plan reviews on here of certain games that are extremely rare so and games that are not playable anymore through the Wii U eShop but of course that's not for this so here we go this is another Nintendo DS game and obviously it's gonna have this
okay and that's pretty awesome it says touch the screen now by the way that does look like uh, this is the first game in an actual in this kind of series but it's still the Legend of Zelda series where Link is more of a pirate like he was in Spirit Tracks of course Spirit Tracks of course he was using a train rather than using a boat or using a ship for this alright so here we go we're going to change the screen yeah, screen settings, that's what we want. Well, it has the original manual, which is good. Okay, so... How do we want to do this? Because it has different settings, different modes. I'm going to do the, this for this game so that way you can see it. So now we're going to touch the sticking screen. Oh, if, <laughs> what's unique if you touch this, it does nothing. You have to touch this screen. Who knew? Okay. It has been created. Hold on a minute. That, that looks a little awkward. At least for now. I'll switch it. Yeah. The touch screen focus. We're going to focus on the touch screen for now. File has been created. New game. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. It don't matter. Just... This is the only part that I hate about these two games. You have to pick right hand or left hand. It don't matter. It shouldn't matter as it is. You know I'm actually left-handed. I hit the wrong button. I apologize. Choose a mode to play. I'm going to do adventure. So there's a battle mode for this. Oh, I know what Tetra was. Tetra, of course, as of course you know, was in The Wind Waker. Not familiar with the Wind Wish. The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. That's an awesome game if you have not checked that out. It's probably it's probably it this is this was probably the sequel to the Wind Waker. But I'm not sure. Yeah, I knew that because I played the game. She turned out to be Princess Zelda in disguise. Obviously, Ganon. See, I already know about the story. Of course, it's probably talking about Link, Link beating Ganon at the very end because that's how the game goes in one way and of course he does because I know how the game goes That I knew because I remember the Wind Waker. Yeah. 
So this was this is probably the sequel to Wind Waker. And Spirit Tracks is probably the sequel to this. Happy pirate ending. Arr! Look at my amazing paper cutouts. Oh. Oh, I had to touch the stick and screen. You can't touch the. Are you sleeping, Swamble? Stop messing around down here. Or down there. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Some legendary hero you are. <laughs> All right. All right, folks, back to the game. Bed, you can't use like the D pad and stuff or this. I don't think Spare Tracks is a sequel, sort of say, because of. Because of. You know what I mean. This is a good idea. Every ship is a beat. Yes. I wonder if that's Ganon's ship. I don't know. I don't think so. so.
Yeah, she gets captured. Right, the same in Zelda again. Don't tell me that's Navi from Ocarina. No, okay, never mind. Sela. See, I'm a Well, those sound effects remind me of Ocarina of Time. Rescue me, sweet. Okay. Oh, can you walk? Yeah, so I have to use the stylus just like. The first game. I'm using the stylus, by the way. Look at that. I'll probably use my hand as well. well. It's a good thing that I'm. I put it on the right side instead of the left. The left just give me the map. Oh, traveler. I'm trying to get through this fast so that way you get to see me use a sword or whatever or not. But if I have to do an ex extended gameplay, I will let you know. Sorry about the darkness. It looks blue when I'm looking at the reaction footage. Ghost ship, yes, understand what you want. It's not what you're saying. Scare it away. Pure evil. I'm going to escape from that. Ghost ship. Just to seek out your doom. Okay, 
Okay, and it's showing where the harbor is. Okay. I'm not going to have much time to do more. So I might have to do an extended gameplay of this. Lots of signings. You be careful out there. Let's, let's save that. Progress, yes. At least it works. That's the good thing about this. It works. Too bad you gotta use the stylus, but it, it works. Oh, great. Another earthquake. Oh, great. Bridge is out. still works, so that's a good thing. So if, if it's not that cave, it's gonna be that is the blue sucker. You have no choice, because they I have to talk to him, maybe a sword or something. What do you mean, repairing? You gotta repair the sticking bridge. He's gonna not do anything ridiculous. Yeah, I know. All right, I'm going to 
stop this gameplay because this is going to be uh, quite a bit. I'm going to have to do an extended gameplay of this. But of course, you're going to know my final review in in just a moment. But I will say this. I am so far enjoying the game, but I need more time. But of course, my extended gameplay will decide which card I'm going to give this game and whatever not. And you'll see that in a moment. So, I will be doing my extended gameplay and of course the final review of course will be in a moment just want to let you know the extended gameplay will be in a separate video I just wanted to let you know so I'm gonna play this it's gonna be recorded and you'll see my final review alright this is just a little bit of an update of course before I get to my final review I just wanted to let you know this is how I, uh, how far this I've gotten so far, and as you can see, I just wanted to show you this. This is unique to the game. All right. Now I'm going to stop it, and I will see you for my final review. Of course, you'll see my extended gameplay after my ga the gameplay and review episode. So. Here's my final review. So, what did I think of The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass? Well, before I get to that, I want to show you that while I was doing my gameplay, I actually wore this shirt and not this. I do apologize. <laughs> I didn't notice it, and I played Phantom Hourglass with this shirt on. And I do apologize for that. So I'm going to do my review of Phantom Hourglass with this. The proper attire for gameplay and review. I do apologize for wearing that shirt for the gameplay. I am really sorry about that. But now it's time to get to my review of Phantom Hourglass. So what I think, well... It has the same controls as Spirit Track, so no surprise there. But I will say that I'm going to have to give, if I was picking which one is better, I'd have to, for now, go with Spirit Tracks, because the thing about it is there's one thing that I don't like about Phantom Hourglass that they improved on with Spirit Tracks, because the thing about it is I tried off-camera, to see if I could press a button when when uh, scrolling text scrolling the story and no buttons do not work you have to use the stylus you have to use the stylus in order for you to scroll the text and spirit tracks you don't have to do that surprisingly enough with spirit tracks you can also press the button to scroll the story which you can't do with phantom hourglass which is a real shame I really wish phantom hourglass would have been like that but no so that's a big downside with Phantom Hourglass, but the rest of the controls are fine. The rest of the controls are fine. And both games have similar gameplay, and I have no problem. I have no problem with the gameplay whatsoever, but I will say that these are not the best Legend of Zelda games that I've ever played. But I do like them both. I will say that the graphics are pretty good with Phantom Hourglass. I think the... Uh, music's pretty good I think the uh, controls are pretty good with the exception of not being able to scroll the screen with the press or not scroll the screen scroll the text the story with the press of a button you have to use the stylus that that was one of the problems with this game that I really wish could have been improved on and I think the gameplay is really, really good. So I have nothing to complain about this game. 
and I think both Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks are definitely well worth having. So as a result, I'm giving Phantom Hourglass a green card. So that's been my review of The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass and I wanted to make sure that the focus was in focus because I wasn't sure and I hope it wasn't blurry when I was telling my final review and if it was I do apologize and hopefully the focus is better now but I will tell you that Phantom Hourglass is definitely well worth having I'm glad that I downloaded that and Spirit Tracks to my Wii U and they're gonna have happy spots in my Wii U collection so oh well, my digital Wii U collection and I hope to do more Wii U games in the near future because I, I got plans for uh, more Wii U games just wanted to let you know but of course these are not Wii U games these were Nintendo DS games and of course the Midish Cap as well because the thing about it is I didn't expect the Minish Cap to be a Nintendo Game Boy Advance game. I thought it was a Nintendo DS game and I ended up being wrong on that. And I made a mistake by doing Phantom Hourglass in this review instead of doing Spirit Tracks for this. Because the thing about it is, had I thought about Phantom Hourglass being the first and Spirit Tracks being the sequel to that, I probably would have did Spirit Tracks for here instead of M Hourglass, but that's okay. I do recommend both games, and of course I recommend, I of course recommended the Minish Cap. If you have not seen my review of that, please check that one out as well. But I will say, so far I'm giving the uh, the best game award for uh, the Nintendo DS Legend of Zelda games to Spirit Tracks. And that's over Phantom Hourglass. It's not over the Mesh Cap because that's a Game Boy Advance game. So, so that's really all I gotta say. And I don't know which Zelda game I'm gonna do next. I might actually do Hyrule Warriors next. You never know, because I'm, I've, I've just about played every single Legend of Zelda game that there is. Surprisingly enough, those were the last two games I think that were definitely. Uh, part of the reg regular Legend of Zelda series that I definitely needed to play. There's the, also the Four Swords Adventures. I, I I might have to do those in the near future as well. I just haven't decided yet. But I will say I've played most of the Legend of Zelda games and some of them I did game plan reviews on. I just haven't done the spin-offs yet. The the Hyrule Warrior series, I still got to do those. I might do the first one next time. I haven't decided yet. It could be The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. You never know. I haven't decided yet. You'll find out if it's Hyrule Warriors or Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom next time. So thank you all for watching, and I will catch you next time for another Legend of Zelda game. It's either Hyrule Warriors or it's going to be the new... Legend of Zelda game. You know already know what that is. Tears of the Kingdom. And I'm still going to do Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom no matter what. I just wanted to let you know. That's the reason why I did these Legend of Zelda games for this particular, these particular weeks because of the release of Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. That's the reason why. So, there you go. And I will tell you, Tears of the Kingdom is either going to be in the next episode or the episode after. I just wanted to let you know. So thank you all for watching. Stay safe and stay awesome. And happy gaming. Oh, and before I go, I just wanted to let you all know that the battle modes do not work for either game. Because both Spirit Tracks and Phantom Hourglass have battle modes. And neither one of them work because you need a Nintendo Wi-Fi connection and I I, you, I don't know I, I really don't know if there is a way to play those 
for these particular versions because I'm playing I was playing them on the Wii U if there's any way to play them on the Wii U because I, I bet you there's the only way you be able to play them is if you have the Nintendo DS games the actual cards the actual games but if there's any way to play the battle modes for either one of these games on the Wii U versions please let me know that's all I really gotta say thank you very much everybody happy gaming